Hey everyone, welcome to Daily Dose of Medicine. In this video, we will be talking about Xanax, benzodiazepines, and these are a class of medications that act as central nervous system depressants. We will talk about toxicity, signs of withdrawal, and everything you need to know. They work by enhancing the activity of a neurotransmitter called GABA, which helps to reduce anxiety, induce sleep, and prevent seizures. They are primarily used for the short-term treatment of anxiety and insomnia and other related conditions. Let's talk about commonly prescribed benzodiazepines. Xanax alprazolam is one of the most common ones. Clonazepam, which is also known as clonopin. Diazepam, which is also known as Valium. Lorazepam, which is also no known as Ativan. And Temazepam, also known as Restorid. In addition to anxiety and insomnia, these may also be used for seizure disorders because they can help to control seizures by enhancing the activity effects of GABA, which inhibits the activity of neurons in the brain. Another condition is muscle spasms. They can help to relax muscles and reduce muscle spasms, particularly in conditions such as multiple sclerosis and spinal cord injuries. We can also use it for alcohol withdrawal, they can help to manage the symptoms of alcohol withdrawal, such as anxiety, tremors, and seizures. We can use it in panic disorders. They may be used for the short-term management of panic disorder, a type of anxiety disorder characterized by recurrent panic attacks. And also we can use it for preoperative sedation. They may be used to help reduce anxiety and induce sedation before surgery or other medical procedures. It's important to note that each benzodiazepine has unique pharmacological properties and side effect profiles. We will talk about the side effects in the future slides and the choice of medications should be tailored to the individual based on their specific condition and medical history. Additionally, they should only be prescribed by a healthcare provider and used according to their instructions to minimize the risk of adverse effects and dependence. They are usually taken orally in the form of tablets, capsules, or liquid. They are absorbed quickly and can produce effects within 30 minutes to an hour after taking it, which is pretty good. They are generally considered safe and used as prescribed for short-term treatment. However, they can cause adverse effects, especially in elderly patients or those with other medical conditions. And we don't recommend benzodiazepines for older adults because they can increase the risk of falls, confusion, and other adverse effects in older adults, particularly those with pre-existing cognitive or mobility impairments. People with a history of substance abuse. Benzodiazepines can be habit forming and may lead to addiction or relapse in individuals with a history of substance abuse. We don't recommend it for pregnant or breastfeeding women. They can cross the placenta and enter breast milk, potentially causing harm to the developing fetus or nursing infant. We don't recommend it for children. They are not typically prescribed to children because their safety and effectiveness have not been well established in the children. Now, let's talk about the adverse effects. It can cause sedation and drowsiness, confusion and impaired cognition, memory impairment and amnesia, dizziness and unsteadiness, blurred vision, muscle weakness, headaches. And also, they can cause gastrointestinal disturbances such as nausea, vomiting, constipation and diarrhea, dry mouth, changes in appetite and weight gain or loss, sexual dysfunction, skin rash or itching, respiratory depression, hypotension or low blood pressure. That's why it's important to talk to your healthcare provider if you experience any adverse effects while taking these medications as some may require immediate medical attention. They can interact with several medications and substances, including alcohol, opioids, and these increase the risk of overdose and respiratory depression. Antihistamines 
Some antihistamines, such as diphenhydramine, can have sedative effects and may enhance the sedative effects of benzodiazepines. Muscle relaxants, combining benzodiazepines with muscle relaxants, can increase the risk of sedation, impaired coordination, and falls. Antidepressants, certain antidepressants such as SSRIs, can interact with benzodiazepines and increase the risk of side effects such as drowsiness and impaired coordination. Anticonvulsants, some anticonvulsants such as valproic acids, can increase the levels of benzodiazepines in the body, potentially leading to increased side effects. Grapefruit juice can inhibit the metabolism of benzodiazepines and can increase their, their level in the body, potentially leading to increased side effects. Now, let's talk about the signs and symptoms of benzodiazepine withdrawal. Benzodiazepine withdrawal can be a challenging and potentially dangerous process, especially for people who have been taking these drugs for an extended period of time or in high doses. Withdrawal symptoms may begin within a few hours to a few days after stopping the medication and they can persist for several weeks or longer. We can see anxiety and panic attacks, insomnia and other sleep disturbances, irritability and agitation, restlessness and fidgeting, tremors and muscle spasms, sweating and clammy skin, nausea, vomiting and diarrhea, headaches and dizziness, the sensitivity to light and sound, and hallucinations and delusions, seizures, which is seen in severe cases of withdrawal. It's important to seek medical attention if you experience any of these symptoms during benzodiazepine withdrawal, especially if they are severe or prolonged. Withdrawal from benzodiazepines should be supervised by a healthcare professional to ensure the safety and comfort of the patient. Rapid or unsupervised withdrawal can be dangerous and potentially life-threatening. Now let's talk about addiction. Benzodiazepine addiction is a serious concern due to high potential for tolerance, dependence, and withdrawal. Prolonged use of benzodiazepines can lead to brain adapting to their effects, resulting in the need for higher doses to achieve the same level of effect. This can lead to physical dependence and withdrawal symptoms when the medication is stopped or the dose is reduced. Let's talk about the symptoms of benzodiazepine addiction. Taking more than the prescribed dose or using the medication recreationally. Continuing to use benzodiazepines despite negative consequences such as impaired work or social functioning, legal problems or relationship issues. Other symptoms are spending a lot of time obtaining, using and recovering from the effects of benzodiazepines developing tolerance to the medication and needing higher doses to achieve the same effect, experiencing withdrawal symptoms when the medication is stopped or the dose is reduced. Treatment for addiction typically involves gradual taping of the medication, behavioral therapies, and sometimes medication-assisted treatment. It's important to seek help from a healthcare provider if you or someone you know is struggling with benzodiazepine addiction. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to watch our opioids video and don't forget to watch our folate deficiency science video. See you on the next one.